The Chinese alligator, also known as the Yangtze alligator and the muddy dragon, is a critically endangered reptile that is an important animal to its ecosystem. Often stated for being the inspiration of the Chinese dragon, these guys grow to be 5 to 7 feet long with the males being larger than the females. As adults, they are black or dark gray. While amphibious, they don't have webbed feet. These guys are opportunistic, but they mostly feed on fish and invertebrates. These guys live in wetlands and ponds at the base of mountains where grass and shrubs are common, but the habitat loss and poaching is decreasing their population. These guys breed in early summer. During this time, males and females will often be aggressive towards one another, and one male will mate with many females. Around 2-3 to three weeks after mating, nests are built by the females. Due to habitat loss, the vegetation that is needed to make a proper nest has dropped. When the wrong vegetation is used, the eggs don't hatch because they don't bring the proper heat. The nests are built near the water and can be as tall as 16 to 28 inches. The Chinese alligator lays up to 20 to 30 eggs at night and after they are laid, the female will either stay at the nest or will leave it but she will still be close to protect it. Newborns and the eggs are the smallest of all crocodilian species. They have light spectacles on their body and head. Moms will help bring the newborns from the nest to the water. The newborns are very vulnerable during their first winter, so they stay close to their mom who has 72 to 76 teeth and a strong jaw pressure. It is debated when the Chinese alligator becomes sexually mature, but people agree it is around 4 to 7 years old. It is known to live for up to 50 years in the wild. In late October to mid-April, these guys will burn in burrows that are 33 to 82 feet long. Like American alligators, these burrows will help make habitat for other animals. These burrows have numerous amounts of entrances, water pools, and rooms that are all large enough for the Chinese alligator to turn around. These nocturnal animals are actually very docile and they are very vocal, making many different vocalizations with different meanings. These guys will bellow to communicate in long distances, and humans can't hear parts of these vocalizations that are less than 500 hertz.